Hi, I'm Brennan. Um, I'm here pretty often. This is, even though I live about 25 minutes away from here, this is like probably my favorite record store in Cincinnati for many reasons that I could go on for forever. But um, this is my pick of the week. This is Natalie Prass, The Future and the Past. This album, I discovered it right around the time it came out, about five years ago, and it just caught my attention right away. The first thing was the hooks. And this thing is full of hooks that will just get stuck in your head all day. It's kind of like that friend that kind of overstays their welcome, but you love them so much that that's okay. It's just a good time no matter what. It's just a really smart album, both lyrically and musically the way it's written, um, because you have a lot of, especially at the time, topics here that I think are just really thought through, um, but also musically, the chord choices, the syncopation, the rhythm, um, this thing has a lot of groove to it. And it's, it's not just like your average pop album. I would say this is kind of, you know, has a lot of groove. It's like, pop meets funk meets indie, alternative, you name it, but it all works together really well. Um, which brings me to my last point, which would be the production. It's not like overly polished to the point of where it's like sickening to listen to. It still has enough rawness to it while still having that kind of pop funk thing going on uh, to where you can hear each thing that's going on super clearly um, and you could follow you know, each instrument on its own journey if you wanted. But for me, it really is the way that all things come together here um, that makes this record so special and it's killer. So I, I recommend it for sure. She's great.